we've done a lot of events this year, haven't we? You know, they've all gone pretty well. All with cake. Yeah, a lot of them with cake. cake. I mean, cake ne cake's never bad, is it really? No, we can make a house of cake. Yeah, well, we didn't make that, but... We should have, we should have. We should have made a house I mean, there's been Macmillan Coffee. Yeah, the coffee morning. Oh, uh, yeah. That was a great success. Loads of coffee, tea even. Yeah. And biscuits. Oh, sold. biscuits always a, always a winner, aren't they? money raised. <laughs> you know. Also, it brings kind of like a nice, you know, togethering in the community, doesn't it, at the college, you know? Yeah, we all... It doesn't matter who you are, you know, what you're doing. Just do stuff. Yeah, you just, and, you just and, and then you and come together and you're happy. And yeah, everyone's happy, happy of course. <laughs> I mean, what else? There's been the Freshers' Fair. I mean, that was great for getting people Freshers into the... Fair, that, that was fun. There was a uh, Space Opera Races. Yep, I heard that you um, fell over quite a few times on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was the Treasure Hunt around the college. Oh, that was good. That helped the children... Uh, the children, sorry? The kids. The kids. <laughs> Students. The students, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> that helped the students really, you know, just uh, find their way around. Yeah, find their way around, become more comf confident around yeah. the uh, college, you know, it's a real good, you know, thing. Ethos. Ethos. It's good, good ethos around the college, you know. Uh, there was also the student conference. Yeah, the student conference. I wasn't actually at that one. Oh, um, the student conference, you went along. If there was any problems, you'd have a little moan. Then. Uh, they will get sorted out and sent back to the governors and yeah great so you yeah, know you, will be positive so the student voice is actually heard that around yeah, you know definitely. so it's not just an internal thing it's a I can't read that I mean there's also the um, I think it's called the human library you know and you've got a real insight to other people's lives yeah as well. that was great you just go along Mm. And, well, people would have a title, wouldn't they? Yeah, I think one of them. Go and sit and listen. I think there was like a, a survivor from one of the concentration camps one time. Yeah, that was yeah, that was fun. Really, really good one. Um, there was also the shoe boxes. Yeah, the there shoe was boxes. forty-two shoe boxes we sent away to wow. Bulgaria. So much. That was and I was one of the elves, actually. There's a beautiful oh, picture too. of me somewhere, you know, high-fiving very cheesily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know that it shows that we're not, you know, we're not just stuck into college. You know, we do get ourselves out there a little bit, don't we? You know. We do, and there's always fun and happy yeah and there's always the cake sales I mean the cake More sales for charities sales. I mean how many did we do about four or five at three least four. yeah three last week <laughs> great <laughs> cake and we've raised lots and lots, lots of money. lots of money as well you know all for the charitable for charities right? stuff yeah go on that's it I'm Laura and I've been a wellbeing agent this year. My favourite event was the Freshers' Fair which was to help new students feel welcome. In my first year I was really shy, quiet though and withdrawn from my friendship groups. I worked with Paul through the wellbeing programme which involves working through this diary. It was based on something called the five ways to wellbeing which are connect, be active, take notice, keep learning and give. I worked through them one at a time until they become part of my life naturally. The wellbeing program really helped me and it made me reconnect with people and realise something I was good at. It might sound a bit cheesy but it was the first time homework was actually fun. The wellbeing program really worked for me and I'd recommend it for anyone whether it's with a member of staff or an agent like me. Um, yeah, so the PM train. First, <laughs> why did you write? Did, what part of the training did you like? Or what training do you, do you think that you enjoyed the most? Probably the mental health first day of like, course. Yeah, I really like that. It was two whole days of stuff which, which everyone knows about but not enough. Yeah, about. and they didn't so know how to, to go and help, like, they didn't understand it. And, and that really helped to understand it a lot better. Mm. And, and that's really helped. Has that helped you? Um, have you applied that knowledge to your peer mentoring? Yeah, definitely. Um, so how did you become a peer mentor? Peer mentor, I was offered and said, would you be up for mm -hmm. helping out someone? Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, of course, sounds we did. Mm -hmm. Then I was assigned a student and we've got on really well. Okay. Well, hi, Megan. <coughs> hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm just going to talk to you about peer mentoring. And I'm just going to ask you first, why do you think you needed peer mentoring? Or why did you approach the scheme? Um, when I first came to East Norfolk Sixth Form College, um, I had a very tough school life and I'd had 
a lot of problems that weren't dealt with. So I was really shy. Um, I didn't really know how to speak to anybody, and I was really unsure of the help that East Norfolk Sixth Form College could offer me. And one of the staff here suggested peer mentoring, but they started it off as having someone to eat lunch with, but then it turned out it was more than that, and it grew from there into a friendship. That's really nice. So do you think it's helped you a lot then? Yeah. Yeah, it's helped me a lot, and um, basically everything that my peer mentor has taught me, I could sort of use in other situations to deal with stress, anxiety and ways of managing it and I could apply it to other situations and not just college so it's helped me out a lot. I'm a student at East Norfolk Sixth Form College and I have to say that I've received so much support here including the peer mentoring scheme. Before coming to East Norfolk I've been to many schools and there was nowhere near the amount of support offered there than there has been here. And it completely shocked me when I found out how much support this college offers. Hi, I'm Rose and I'm a peer mentor at East Norfolk Sixth Form College. And I just wanted to say that all of the support with the wellbeing agents and the peer mentoring, it's all available and it's, all, it's so easy to find. You just have to come and speak to Lisa or Paul or just ask any member of staff and just say that if you need any help, then there's a bunch of us here to talk and will just be there to listen for anything, no matter how big or small the problem is. Just ask for the help, because it's there.